Hello dear students, greetings of the day. Welcome back at your whole channel, Maths Mela, where we are here to discuss the academic parts of mathematics. Before starting with the academic part today, let me discuss a thought which I came across. The thought was, every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. Isn't it? Yes. We may expect that for us every day should be what something good. But is it like that? Can we expect or can we hope like this? Only good things should happen to us. Then what about the other people? Right? Yes. Now the thing is what? It may be possible that how we want the things will not happen throughout the day. Right? There might be some things which we don't like, but the things are happening. Who liked the corona? No one. But it happened. Right? Many of the time it happens that whatever we don't want, that happens to us. Or whatever we dislike, that happens to us. But a day is consists of 24 hours and so many minutes and so many seconds. So it may be possible that 23 hours will not be good for us, but the last hour, or but any one of the hour may be good for us. So, the thing is what? In whole day, in whole 24 hours, okay, there may not be happening good to us, but there might be some moments which will be what very fruitful for us which will be what very good for us, right? So, just with the positive mind, we have to find out that good time from the day, from the every day, which will be what? Good for us. So, that's why the thought is, every day may not be good, but there may be something good in every day. So, let's go ahead with the thought in our daily life. Now, <clears throat> let's continue with the exercise number 7.2 but before continuing, just a small recap. Recently, in the last video, we have completed exercise number 7.2's first 5 sums. Those first 5 sums were depending on two formulas. Number 1, section formula, how to do it, if there is a line segment AB and point P is what intersecting that line segment AB with the coordinates X and Y then the coordinates of P, X, Y can be find out by using section formula as P of X, Y is equal to M2 X1 plus M1 X2 divided by M1 plus M2 comma m1 by 2 plus m2 by 1 upon m1 plus m2. By using this formula, we can find out the coordinates of x and y. By using this formula, we can find out the coordinates of point P. Now, the next is midpoint formula. It is a special case of, case of section formula where the point is dividing the line segment in the ratio of 1 is to 1 where the value of m1 and m2 is equal to 1. In that case, P becomes the midpoint of the line segment and the coordinates of the midpoint or the coordinates of point P can be found out by using this point formula as P of xy is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Now today also by using this formula so we are going to solve some other sums. So, this was the recap. Now, just go ahead with the sum number 6. If 1, 2, 4, y, x, 6 and 3, 5 are the vertices of parallelogram taken in order, find x and y. Now, this is the diagrammatic representation of sum number 6. What is given in the sum number 6? ABCD is a parallelogram and the coordinates of all four vertices are given and then we have to find out the value of x and y. But we know that 
ABCD is what parallelogram, and we can see that AC and BD are what the diagonals. Now, what is the property of parallelogram? In parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. What does it mean? It means P is a midpoint of AC as well as P is a midpoint of BD. Means the coordinates of P will be same for both the lines. Okay, so let's do it since. A B C D is a parallelogram. Therefore, A C and B D are diagonals. Okay, bisects each other. Bisect each other at P. Therefore, what it will be? Midpoint of AC is equal to midpoint of BD. Now what we do? Once we find out midpoint of AC by using midpoint formula, and once we find out the midpoint of BD again by using this formula. Okay. okay? So by using midpoint formula. Okay, we can do this thing. Midpoint of AC can be given as x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by <coughs> 2. Now suppose x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3 and x4 y4. So here x3 plus x4 divided by 2, y3 plus y4 divided by 2. Is that okay? Now just keep the value and find the answer. This is what? A1, A2. Right? This is what? A and C. So here the coordinates are what? This is x1, y1 and this will be x2, y2. This will be x3, y3. This will be x4, y2. Okay? So the thing is what? x1 and x2. It will become 1 plus x. Okay, divided by 2 and y1 by 2 is what? 2 plus 6 divided by 2 will be equal to 4 plus 3 by 2 y plus 5 by 2. Okay, but we know that since this both are not equal, so their x coordinates will be equal and their y coordinate will be equal. Okay, so therefore this implies that 1 plus x upon 2 is equal to 4 plus 3 7 upon 2 and 2 plus 6 is what 8 8 by 2 okay 8 by 2 is equal to y plus 5 upon 2 this two this two cancel this two this two also cancel so here x is equal to 7 minus 1 and y is equal to 5 minus 8 so here we are getting x is equal to 6 and y is equal to minus 3. So the coordinates of p is equal to what? 6 comma minus 3. Now sum number 7. Find the coordinates of a point A where AB is the diameter of a circle whose center is 2 comma minus 3 and B is 1 comma 4. One circle is given to you and AB is diameter of that circle. The coordinates of center and the coordinates of point B is given and then we have to find out the coordinates of point A. Okay, so how can we do it? Let's do it. Since AB is a diameter, so point O will become what? Midpoint. Point O is a is center of circle and what AB is diameter, <coughs> right? Therefore, O is midpoint of diameter AB. Therefore, what we can do by using midpoint formula 
right? By using that point formula, what will happen? O of x comma y can be given x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2. What is O of x y? It is given 2 comma minus 3. And this is equal to what is x1? It is x. Then x2 is equal to 1 upon 2. And then y1 is equal to y plus 4 upon 2. Again, like right last sum, we are going to just compare x with x. So that is 2 is equal to x plus 1 upon 2. And minus 3 is equal to y plus 4 upon 2. And now the simple calculation to do the 4 is equal to x plus y and minus 6 is equal to y plus 4. So what will come here that is 4 minus 1 is equal to x therefore 3 is equal to x. Okay. And minus 6 and minus 4. So minus 6 minus 4 is equal to y. So minus 10 is equal to y. Therefore coordinates of point P is equal to 3 comma minus 10. Now the next sum. If A and B are minus 2 comma minus 2 and 2 comma minus 4 respectively, Find the coordinates of P such that AP is equal to 3 seventh of AB and P lies on the line segment AB. Things given in the sum here A and B is like this. A and B where the coordinates of A are minus 2 and minus 2 coordinates of B are what? 2 comma minus 4 and P is a point somewhere near suppose and it is given that AP is what? 3 by 7 of full line A. Now, easily you can find out if it is AP 3 by 7. So, the rest part is what? PB. How much is remaining? Suppose out of 7, 3 parts are given. It means 4 parts are remaining. So, P upon B will become 4 upon 7. And then easily you can find out what is the value of M1 and M2. That is 3 is to 4. Let's do it. Okay. Given AP is equal to 3 upon 7 of AB. Therefore, PB can be given as AB minus AP. This is equal to what? AB minus 3 upon 7 of a. Therefore, PB is equal to 7 1 to 7 here, then 7 minus 3 is what? 4 upon 7 AB. Right? And then if you want to find out their ratio, so you can AP upon PB is equal to 3 upon 7 and 4 upon 7. 7 7 gets cancelled, so it is what? 3 is to 4. Or this is what this is M1 and this is what M2. Now, can you find out the coordinates of P? Of course, by using, therefore, by section formula. Is it? Yes. So, P of x, y is equal to, what is section formula? M1 x2 plus M2 x1 divided by M1 plus M2, comma, M1 y2 m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 and just keep the value and find the answer. What is value of m1? It is 3. Okay. What is x2? Okay. This is what your x1 y1. This is what your x2 y2. So your x2 is what? 2. Plus what is m2? It is 4 and x1 is equal to minus 2 divided by 3 plus 4. And again same thing. 3 into y2. What is y2? Minus 4 plus m2 into minus 2 upon again 3 plus 4. So p of x, y can be given as 3 into 2, 6, 4 into 2, minus 8 here. So 6 minus 8 will give you 
minus 2 upon 7, 3 4 is 12, that is minus 12, plus 4 2 is 8, minus 12 and minus 8 is what? Minus 20, minus 20 upon 7. So these are what? Nothing but the coordinates of point P. Now, sum number 9. Find the coordinates of the points which divides the line segment joining A minus 2 comma 2 and B 2 comma 8 into 4 equal parts. This is what the diagrammatic representation of sum number 9. What is sum number 9? The line segment AB is divided into 4 equal parts. Right? So 4 equal parts means B1, AQ is equal to PQ is equal to PR is equal to RP. Right? Now, directly is not divided into four equal parts. First, AB line segment with the help of what point P got divided into two equal parts. So, what does it mean? It means that P is midpoint of AB. So by using midpoint formula, first we find out the coordinates of P. And then Q will also become the midpoint of AP. So we find out the mid, by using midpoint formula the coordinates of Q. And similarly, R will be the midpoint of PB. And then by again using midpoint formula, we will find out the coordinates of point R. But every time your x1, y1 and x2, y2 will change. Okay, so by midpoint formula, three times we are going to use here midpoint formula. Okay, so P of x comma y can be given as x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2. Here x1 and x2 and y1 and y2 are what with respect to A and B. So it is minus 2 plus 2 upon 2 and 2 plus 8 upon 2. So, in this way you can get very easily P of x, y. Minus 2 plus 2 is what? 0. 0 by 2 is what? 0. 2 plus 8 is what? 10. 10 by 2 is what? 5. Okay. So, here we are getting 0 comma 5. Now, Q is a uh, is midpoint of a. Okay, so therefore by midpoint formula again Q x comma y is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Writing formula is necessary in comparison. Okay, so Q x comma y is equal to. Now x1 and x2 with respect to A and B. So it is what? Minus 2 plus 0 upon 2, 2 plus 5 upon 2. Okay. So here you will get minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2 and then upon 2. That will give you minus 1 and then 7 upon 2. Is that okay? Now similarly R is also what mentioned Therefore, R is midpoint of whose? It is PB. Okay. Again, therefore, by midpoint formula, right? For R, XY is equal to X1 plus X2 upon 2, Y1 plus Y2 upon 2 can be given as coordinates are this and this. Okay. So, 0 plus 2 divided by 2. Then, 5 plus 8 divided by 2. So, R of x comma y is equal to 2 upon 2. That is equal to 1 and 13 upon 2. Okay. These are what the coordinates of R. So, here we got P of x y, R x XY and QX. Okay, let's go on next Find the area of rhombus if its vertices are 3, 0, 
फोर कॉमा फाइव माइनस वन कॉमा फोर एंड माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस वन टेकन इन ऑर्डर हिंट इज ऑल्सो गिवन एरिया ऑफ द रोमबस इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इट्स डायगोनल्स Now the diagrammatic representation of some number ten. What is given? A B C D is a rhombus, and we have to find out the area of the rhombus. It is also given, and that becomes what very simple, right? If we want to find out area of rhombus, then the formula is one by two into diagonal one into diagonal two, right? What is diagonal one? AC. What is diagonal two? B. But before finding the area, we should know the diagonal AC means the length of diagonal AC and diagonal B. Okay. So by distance formula, we will find out the length by distance formula AC. Okay. Or AC square. Is equal to a and c. X y y are x two y two. Okay, so it is minus one minus three is square. That is x one. Or our first formula will write down x two minus x one square plus y two minus y one square. And then after that, if keep the value that is minus one minus three is square. What is y two? Four minus zero square. So AC square is equal to minus one and minus three minus four minus four square is what sixteen, and then this is also what four minus zero four four square is sixteen, so it becomes two times of sixteen. Why am I writing like this? Because sixteen is a perfect square can be written out as four. Okay, so it will become four root two. Similarly. BD is equal to or BD square is equal to by any formula I am applying that is x2 minus x1 so 4 minus of minus 2 will become 4 plus 2 square and then y2 minus y1 again 5 minus of minus 1 will become plus 1 square and therefore what it will be BD square is equal to 4 plus 2 6 6 square is what 36 5 plus 1 is again 6 6 plus 6 into 6 is what 36, so it will also become 2 into 36. Again, 36 is what perfect square. Therefore, BD is equal to under root of 36 into 2. That is what 6 root 2. So, equation one, diagonal one, equation two, diagonal two, and therefore, area of rhombus ABCD. Can be given as one by two into AC into B. That means one by two. What is AC? Four root two. What is BD? Six root two. So two ones are two twos are two into six twelve into root two into root two. So root two into root two is what two? Two twos are four. Four six are Twenty-four. Anyhow, you can do it. Okay. So area of rhombus is what twenty-four units square. So here we have completed exercise number seven point two. A quick recap for this exercise to complete or to solve exercise number seven point two, we have to use all the three formulas. Number one is what section formula, which is the front of U. Right. Then next one is what. The next formula that is midpoint formula. This is what the midpoint formula. And the last one is what the distance formula. So we have used the distance formula also here, and this is what the distance formula. Okay. So by using all these three formulas, we have done and completed happily exercise number seven point two. Actually, because of uh, COVID nineteen, exercise number seven point three and the area of triangle is not there in the syllabus. Okay, so because of that, we are not going to cover exercise number seven point three, and here only we aims the, and here only the chapter number seven that is quadratic geometry A. Okay, so we'll wait with, uh, so we'll wait for the next video at your own channel, Max Mela. Till that, let's find out something good.
in a thing. So till that time, be happy and be safe at your home. Thank you.